Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, we're going to take a look at your person, what they might be thinking or feeling, how they may be viewing you, and any possible action that they may take towards you, and then we'll also get as much advice as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aquarius for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Aquarius, please. All right, so your person is showing up as the King of Cups in reverse. They're viewing you as the star card, Aquarius energy. And the possible future action, the King of Swords. So you have someone that is absolutely planning on reaching out feels like you are this person's wish fulfillment or their desire here is to heal things with you. But we have the page of cups in reverse. So this person might not be quite ready. I'm feeling with the page of cups in reverse as well that you may need to be careful with the communication that you receive from this person because they might not be completely honest or it might be a little bit misleading. And what I mean by that with the page of cups in reverse, obviously it could be that they, you know, they hit you up because they tell you they forgot something at your house or they have to ask you a question about, you know, something mundane like their taxes or something that you're good at or you know about. Okay. But we do also see here with the king of cups in reverse that maybe this person has a tendency to be a bit emotionally detached or withdrawn. So as much as they do want to communicate and they do want to heal things with you, it's like emotionally they may not be completely there and sometimes i see the king of cups in reverse as someone who can be emotionally manipulative so just a little bit of a heads up there with the page of cups in reverse tells me that mm, you may have to really read between the lines of communication here with this person aquarius and really trust your instincts so let's see king of cups in reverse is your person I feel like they're a lot more, wow, double king of cups in reverse. So you might be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I think this person's a lot more emotional behind the scenes than they might let on or that they, that they let you know. The seven of pentacles in reverse. This person does know that they need to make it up to you or maybe they want to like take you out for lunch or dinner. Um, but the seven of pentacles in reverse too, it's like this person has gone through some sort of ending. Um, now, maybe it's an ending with you that's been a bit of an eye-opener or awakening for them. Um, but I also feel, too, it's possible this person is maybe ending a cycle um, or ending, um, you know, they want to put an end to this energy of waiting, of not communicating. Um, so I do feel you've got somebody here who's doing quite a bit of soul searching. All right, so let's see. why They're viewing you as the star card, so they, they definitely hold you in high regard. You are on the right path, Aquarius. I feel like a lot of you, you're probably up-leveling with your job, with your career. All right, and the Page of Swords. This person's definitely spying on you, keeping tabs on you. And this person also feels like they see very clearly who you are and what you mean to them. I just feel like they have difficulties articulating it. But it's not just a, a matter of communication. It's like this person maybe isn't very trusting with their emotions or I just get this like slight emotional manipulation here. Um, like this, then it could be ego energy, self-preservation that they don't, they have a hard time expressing how they really feel. But you are going to get, you're going to get communication. But again, seven of cups, it might be some sort of confusing communication. This person might kind of talk about everything else except for what really needs to be talked about. And we see the Queen of Wands energy in reverse. It is also possible this person is worried that you've moved on or they see that you have other options. I also want you to be aware that this person may have some sort of third party around them. Maybe you always knew that. And it does not have to be a romantic rival. Like it could be friends or family members that aren't completely in agreement here with this connection. But I do feel, Aquarius, that this person has definitely put an end to something here. Um, the communication that comes in though, I kind of feel like it might trigger you a little bit. So just be aware of that. And maybe because they're not going to be clear and direct with you, which I know many of my Aquarius friends, that would be very frustrating for them. But we have emperor energy, maybe dealing with an Aries, but it does feel like you have somebody here that's wanting to boss up, trying to boss up. Um, but like I said, there's a little bit of that emotional manipulation. Maybe that's just how they learn to communicate or 
behave in relationships. They are definitely getting as much information about you as possible. If you're single, if you're, you know, if you're dating anybody, are you happy? I'm seeing a card that comes from this deck that's called tracking location. So again, they might know exactly where you are or what's up with you. All right, we see divine guidance. So this person definitely is receiving signs and synchronicities from the universe. This person's definitely reminiscing, very nostalgic about when you were together. Maybe some of you were never really with this person, but they're definitely fantasizing about it. Um, wow, this person, they've chosen you. They want you, Aquarius. I just feel like they have a really weird way about going about, going about it. Okay, they need a break and chit chats and hidden tweets. So I kind of feel like with this need a break, a lot of you are probably on a break from this person. For some of you, they're quitting something that maybe wasn't good for them. Maybe it's another relationship. You would already know that. Um, or maybe it's, you know, bad influences or, you know, paying attention more to what other people are thinking and feeling than what their own, than their own sort of thoughts and feelings, their own guidance, their own intuition. I do feel this person will probably start reaching out um, in sort of a passive way, start liking your photos, start liking your, you know, your stories and things like that. But I'm wondering if they're kind of hiding it from friends and family that they're trying to reach out or trying to win you back. But this person is going through some sort of evolution here, Aquarius. So it's interesting energy because on one hand, I do see that this person realizes something needs to change. Um, but I also feel like they've got like a, just kind of like a twisted way about communicating or going about it. It doesn't necessarily have to be manipulative either. It kind of just feels like, you know, it may be, it may be how they learn to communicate, learn to love. I'm, I'm not sure, but the emperor energy does tell me that they are, they do want to boss up. They have every intention of trying to win you back, heal things. They feel like they, they know the way to do it, do it or go about it. Although, I don't know, like, I, I feel like it, for some reason that might annoy you a little bit, but let's see. I'm, I'm coming to terms with the shame that has cast a shadow over me for so long. So they may feel guilty about something. They may feel guilty about putting others first over you, other people's thoughts, opinions. I know you're in my life for a reason. There's something significant we're meant to show each other. So they're definitely getting these downloads, that divine guidance, that there's more to this or that this is a very special connection. And this person, like I said, they've chosen you. They want you, Aquarius. So I kind of feel like the ball is in your court. But we also see that there are some struggles and some challenges. They feel like they're being put to the test. They need to lean on you for strength and encouragement. I feel like they miss you. I feel like they miss talking to you. I feel like they miss you know, being able to bounce ideas off of you. Like they, they definitely hold you in high regard um, and like high esteem, especially for your advice and, and probably too because of your spiritual knowledge or what you've learned through your spiritual awakening and experiences. So I do feel like this person really does quite, they really admire you. And I do feel like your presence or your lack of presence has really left a void in this person's in this person's world um, so let's see what do we need to know about this connection everything will unfold in divine timing so to be patient for some of you i mean this person wants marriage they want commitment it's really going to be up to you aquarius is what i'm hearing you've learned the spiritual lesson see i feel like you're a little bit further along you may have more life experience or you've you know you went you've been through an awakening quite some time ago um, I feel like this person respects you for that, looks up to you for that. But again, I, I wonder if there's, if you feel matched in this energy and firm boundaries are needed now. Yeah, because I do feel like this person wants to come in and kind of like maybe act like nothing happened. Um, or again, if they come in and they're not being completely honest with you about, you know, the type like how they're really feeling or they're kind of beating around the bush. I feel like it's going to be really important that you're direct with this person and you set strong boundaries because you don't want somebody coming in and kind of like toying with your time or wasting your time. Again, I feel like my Aquarius too, you could really be this emperor energy where you set the stage, where you let this person know how you're really feeling. You either talk to me straight or don't talk to me at all type energy. All right, so let's see. What else do my Aquarius need to know here about this connection? There's a roadblock here to overcome, and I feel like you definitely know what that is, or maybe you've already experienced it, but understand why it's there. It could be for protection or simply requires an alternative solution. Okay, 
Stay present. Yeah. Don't let this person pull you too far into the past either. And, you know, because I do get that they've got this watery energy and as a water sun and moon, you know, I know that we tend to be quite nostalgic. So I do feel like this person may try to bring up the past or may try to anchor you in the past and spirit saying, mm -mm, don't allow this to happen. Stay very present. All right. And Find that something or someone that speaks your heart, lifts your mood, and sparks your creativity. If related to work, do what you love. So I feel like Aquarius, I do feel like you're probably doing quite well in your job. It's sort of like a little side message here, or you will be getting a lot of attention, or that raise, or that promotion. But I'm also seeing here too, it's about really checking in with yourself about this person. Like, do they lift your mood? Do they speak to your heart? Do you feel good in their present, just presence? Do they build you up? Um, it's possible, right? For a lot of you, I do feel like it's possible. I feel like this person is quite in love with you, Aquarius. It's just about really checking in with your energy and seeing, do you feel the same? You know, is this person, you know, do you want to create with this person? Um, Spirit saying forgiveness is a powerful thing to offer your forgiveness to another liberates your own heart from pain. So forgiveness can clear karma it can lead to reconciliation or it can allow you to cut that cord and move on without any sort of negative energy here. So Aquarius, I feel like a lot of you, you know, I'm kind of picking up on 50-50. Some of you are going to be, you know, wanting to work on this connection. And for others of you, you know, it may be very flattering and you may get that closure, that chance for that forgiveness, to forgive them and to move forward. Um, yeah, and I can see it hasn't been easy and it may not be an easy decision, but again, trust your intuition and make the healthiest choices for you and yours, Aquarius, okay? I'm gonna leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you wanna follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Aquarius, take care.